what is up my shred heads welcome back to the channel today we are back on the Suron back in Delaware we're going to be riding around with Matt the mechanic and Cole and if you guys are interested in powering your Suron the way I've got mine make sure you check out those links down below for Greenline Engineering's BAC 4000 and also check out that link down below for Chai Battery Systems this video is sponsored by Chai Battery Systems this is the brand new 72 volt Pulsar Touring Battery. This is the 45 amp hour battery. You could run it at 200 amps continuous at 15 kilowatts. It's got a 405 amp peak at 29 kilowatts. Now you're playing with power. You can also fast charge it at 30 amps. And it's also pretty f***ing waterproof. Install video coming soon. We're going 72 volt, boys. Use code TREDY to get 5% off your order. Check out the details below. Cole just got his bike upgraded again. Why? Because he keeps crashing it. Drop a comment down below for Cole. What does he need to do to stop crashing his e-bike? I wish Delaware had like bigger bike lanes like California does. In California, they even have like sectioned off bike lanes so cars can't get into it. But like sometimes what people will do will be they'll cut in front of me to make this right turn, not knowing I can go, you know, 30 miles an hour. Well, really like 60. I don't know. For some reason, guys, I always have so much anxiety riding on a side of Route 1 with the Suron. <laughs> We got people filming. <laughs> and soon, guys, I'm gonna be getting the Sotion motor from Greenline Engineering. <laughs> what the f is going on? Look at that. That's Delaware drivers right there. <laughs> there you go, my one route, one wheelie for you guys. So when I do ride on the road, I do like leaving people like a little bit of room on the side there. Oh, and guys, I did get. Uh, new seals on my fast ace forks they tend to be working pretty well and not leaking anymore Let's go. all right and just like that we made it to the mechanic shed hell yeah oh that's looking nice dude good job on that build bro hold on so what happened you crash your bike again you yeah. just keep crashing it yeah dude look i, I bought a new helmet but this is the only thing i landed right on my head dude. Ooh, right there bent I got up and I felt like I had sunglasses on for like 10 seconds. Oh. Then, like, yeah, but it felt like uh, like everything was tinted. But then I'm all good. Oh my God. So I bought a uh, helmet today. Good. So you had to get all this stuff upgraded because you crashed. New fork seals, checked his nuts, tighten everything up. What else? New handlebars, these things bent, new grips probably. What cap do you got on your Sotion? I got, I think the same color, that one coming. This that looks tight. Red, and then you wrapped it. Oh, well, I'm glad you're okay, bro. <laughs> I was wheeling on the road, and I was like looking over at some grass. I'm like, oh, there's some nice hills, like some nice little whoop, swoops. And it, whoop, whoop. Uh, I started making my way through the grass, and all of a sudden I'm going to like so 25, 30 mm -hmm. miles per hour, and these holes come out of nowhere. I dodge one, and there's another one. I'm like, oh, I'm coming too fast. I can't dodge it, so I gotta jump it. So I try to jump it, like, and I yeah, like yeah, yeah. And I, I cleared it with my forks, but I think that that's how they started leaking. Uh, but my back tire was, was in the really hit it, and I fucked over, and I went flying over the handlebars. Oh and my right god! On the noggin, and uh, it's yeah. right. now we're gonna see what kind of trouble we can get into around here in Rehoboth Beach, Delaware, with three Surons. Oh, if you guys are wondering why I'm using this thumb throttle here on my left, it's connected to my BAC 4000 from Greenline Engineering, and it's a variable regen throttle. We're like rebels around here. <laughs> Turkey buzzard. <laughs> he said, slow down. <laughs> so from Lewis to Rehoboth to Dewey, all in one video, let's go. Wind's blowing towards the ocean. That means there's gonna be a lot of biting flies at the beach. Oh, this is gorgeous. This is my zen. <laughs> Zenning out here is zen, zen delicious. Hey, so for them horse flies.
Let's go. Dude, I can't see with all this pollen going in my eyeballs. Sometimes you gotta ride through the grass. Ow! Ow! Dude, that's a second bug or a rock. I, I think I got hit by a rock, maybe. What's up? Every summer we hang out here at the Dewey Beach Exxon. So if you guys are ever in Dewey Beach, stop by here. Aww. Aww. I forgot to tell you guys, there was like a beached whale here. I guess it was dying, so they couldn't save it. Uh-huh. Yeah, definitely don't want to be doing like crazy wheelies around here in Rehoboth. Lots of cops always patrolling around here. So this trail, it's called the Breakwater Junction Trails. It's a trail between Lewis Beach and Rehoboth Beach. And it's pretty cool, we can like take back trails again between two beaches. Oh, we're going to like a secret trail that they found. Hopefully no ticks. Damn, I don't know where my battery's at. We've definitely been kind of ripping around fast. This is crazy. Oh, well, we're going over a freaking over a river. Oh, please don't, don't take us under. Oh, that was a freaking horse fly, guys. So the horse flies around here can go up to like 90 miles an hour and they bite and they hurt. So much battery we got. There's no way I have 82%. Six deer out there. Six deers. Not you around here. Definitely a good workout, bro. Dude, I can probably do this whole road. Oh, maybe not, the wind. Ah, my hand, scraping. Fast wheelies, huh? It's crazy. Oh, on route one, let's go. Sketchy. All right, guys, that's gonna be the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed that content, please consider subscribing hitting that like button and reading that notification to be notified when I'm making videos. And are you guys ready for the moment of sounds for that subscribe button? In three, two, one, hit subscribe, heads down. All right guys, I'll see you in the next ride. <laughs>